Okay, I'm back on this 2000 Toyota Avalon. If you recall from our first video, we were discussing how, from the previous installation, the gentleman was having wind noises along the bottom. That's because, as you all know, if you roll that bead as you're laying it in, it becomes unseated from where the factory intended it to be. It's not going to remain there in order to get the glass ducked in properly to prevent wind noises and things of that nature. These Toyotas, you have a very narrow spot to put your adhesive, so there's no room for error. you got to get it right. You can see the consistency of our bead all the way around is the same. It's uniform. And it's equal to the height of the roof line in a pillar structure, which is typical on most any flush mount system. Now, uniform beads have applied, it's tooled in, and we're ready to set our glass. And sir, if you can take your position on the other side, like you were when we removed it, I'd like everyone to see just how effective this tool is at this setting. You see, as we're setting, it, setting the glass into the tool, if you want to check to show the other side, you'll see that we're far away from the urethane. We're not at attaching the urethane anywhere. As we get over the vehicle where we want it to be, we bring the glass down, we line ourselves up as we go, and you can see I still haven't even hit the bead. And I'm getting close to making contact at the bottom now. It's starting to make contact. All right, I deck it at the top. Get it where I want it on this side. And also, how many times have you had a, a Toyota windshield with this type of molding push against the windshield while you're trying to get it centered? It's not going to happen because your roll deck tool is keeping the glass from slipping until you get it placed. Still move it around a little bit if you need to. Just pick it up and move it where you want it. Get your other top corner placed. Okay, the molding is nice and even, uniform. It hasn't been pulled off anywhere. It's nice and centered. Everything's good. So now we're ready to remove our roll of that. You lift the hood. You can clearly see under the hood the roll of deck tool in proximity. We have a single drop on this one. The glass is probably a little over a half inch, maybe five eighths suspended above the urethane or above the bead. So we just roll our tool out if we can. If we can't, let's see, yeah, okay, we're, we're actually bottoming out on the uh, wiper assembly. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the tool and move it out and we're ready to deck our glass. see how the windshield rolled over, never disturbed the adhesive, and laid in perfectly. Now the glass is floating perfectly on a factory-like bead. We just gently press it in. You see that? We're pressing it down into that glue. We can't see what the glue is doing, but we know that it is actually decking. And you're not going to have wind noises. You're not going to have uh, any, any structural compromises because the urethane is precisely located where the factory intended it to be. Rolodeck. When precision is a must, it's the Rolodeck you can trust.